Spring Hill College reacting to the not guilty verdict in the rape trial that involved two of their students. WKRG News 5's Megan Mackey with us. She's been following the story since it broke 15 months ago. And Megan, what did the school have to say about the verdict? Devin, well, a representative from Spring Hill College told me the school respects the decision of the jury in a statement they said they respect the legal process and the decision, adding they are committed to providing a safe environment for their students. They also told me that they have a number of initiatives in place to prevent and address sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking. Spring Hill College is facing a separate federal lawsuit that was filed by the accuser in this case, Audrey Cox. That suit alleges they failed to provide basic security measures, which caused this incident to happen. Devin? Well, Megan, we've heard a lot about these security measures over the last eight days. Was there any evidence in court that revealed that the school could have done more? Yeah, actually, evidence in court showed the school had a faulty surveillance cameras, also audio recording equipment that failed for campus police and easy access in and out of those dorms for non residents. OK, so is Spring Hill College actually responding to the questions about their earlier ruling that actually punished Vasil Kakali for sexual misconduct? Yeah, Devin, that was a separate Title IX investigation done by the school before he was found not guilty in state court. So no word yet if they'll be overturning that ruling. All right, Megan Mackey reporting for us. Thanks, Megan.